I? Red eyes too. We're not even gonna get a little uh, chapter opening card thing here. What, what was that? I assume that was the hooded figure who has bumped into us in literally every chapter, and yet we still have no idea who they are. Anyway, hello everyone. Welcome back to Master Detective Archives Rain Code. I mean. I, yet again, we are starting off waking up in someone's basement. This is what, the, the third time this has happened? I don't know, you know, is what it is. Yuma just has a habit of passing out and waking up in random rooms. Yes, I am going to count Shinigami's pact, getting gassed and nearly drowning as just passing out. You should too. As should you, Yuma. You weak little thing, you. <laughs> if that were me, I, I would have just not, you know? <laughs> anyway. I mean, you know what happened in the last one. <laughs> um, I'll be honest, though. I, I, I'll I, be... I'll be frank. I, I didn't say anything. I was too busy talking about the chapter in review. But, um, you know, during that final little uh, cutscene thing... I was real. I was really ready for number one to just get like shot, you know, like assassination, red dot on the forehead, just black, and then he, you know, he just like hold there, and then he fall forward, and we're like, what? And then something else would happen, or hell, that it even just end there. No, the fact that that bitch just unceremoniously blew up. I mean, that's that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> I didn't like that fucker anyway, but ah, uh, that that. That's just funny, man. That's fine. I was not expecting it. I was not expecting it. I was also very, very, very close to making a joke about how, um... Well... You know... It was just one big tower. You know... <laughs> <clears throat> It's fine. I was born on 9-11, it's fine. <laughs> Not true. I was born in a... What was born the year it happened? Where are we? The date though, yeah, I've got that. I don't know, but it doesn't look good! Oh man, this place is giving me the creeps! Well, let's just look around and figure out where we are for now. Yeah, in this mostly black room. What the heck was that? No, wait. I have to figure out where I even am. Well, I think I found one of our blue balls. Whose one is this? Oh, uh-oh. Oh, it's Kurumi. Kurumi! I guess we're all just gonna be here in these rooms. She's dead! <laughs> no, I don't think she is Shinigami. Stop panicking. No, she's not! Kurumi, wake up! Kurumi! But wouldn't it be wild if we just walk through this? Everyone else is dead, and the final case is we've got to solve their murders, and we're like, oh fuck, it's just like that time on the train! <sighs> Quick, Kurumi! Stop having good dreams! Wake up! Oh, thank goodness. Yuma? Where am I? Oh, I had a dream. We were on, like... A ferris wheel or something but the ferris wheel didn't go around in a circle it went around like or at least like a vertical circle it went on like a horizontal one and we were stuck on it forever and it wasn't even a good sunset to look at it, it was in the middle of the night it's a really weird dream i don't know i just woke up too yeah it does sound weird i like i, I don't even know what to make of that that didn't like sound cryptic or like it was foreshadowing for any- it didn't even sound like a reference. I don't, I don't even know what that was. Well, this doesn't look like Kanai Ward. This just looks like rural Japan! What is this place? I've never seen anywhere so... creepy. I'm missing one of my balls, guys! 
It's the last chapter. There are five for me to get. Well, four, but five for me to get. Do you get. know where we are either? It's raining, so it's probably somewhere in Kanai Ward. But I don't recognize anything here. Yeah, Kanai Ward is famously the only place in the world it rains. Shit, is Kanai Ward just an allegory for Great Britain? <laughs> I, I knew it felt familiar. <laughs> Who knew there was a place like this in Kanai Ward? There are some rundown shacks over there. It looks like a rural village. Hey, Yuma. Do you remember how you were brought here? Um, let me think. Smoke suddenly came out of my pocket, and I fell unconscious. It must have been a powerful sedative. You were instantly KO'd. Oh, well, I don't think it was instantly. I got knocked out too. And I remember seeing on the news before I passed out, the WDO building was bombed by a terrorist. Huh? It was? Could this be related to the explosion? Who could have done this? Makoto! The criminal being pursued by the World Detective Organization? What's going on? This is totally bizarre. So they have a role reversal. Actually, Yomi was a good guy this whole time, and everyone deserved to be put to death. Oh, Yomi, you silly guy. Where is everyone else from the detective agency? <laughs> if they were taken away like we were, then they should be nearby. We should search around here for now. Master, be careful. I'm worried about that weird shadow from earlier. Yeah, I guess that they were outside, and we did just, like, come outside. Right. What was that thing? I need the memory. I need the memory. No, now we're getting the... And then I was gone. Well, that's not foreboding at all. So, uh... Who, who, who's, who's just gone, huh? Shinigami, is it you? Is it me? Is it us? It's so creepy here. It's like the afterlife. Oh, it's so dark, I can't really see anything. <laughs> you have no idea what the afterlife is like, kiddo. Want me to show you the real thing? Shinigami, you know she can't hear you. Come on, let's go. No, we gotta go back inside, Yuma. We gotta get the ball. Okay, I was gonna say, there's no shot, they just don't let me back in. Okay, sweet. I'm scared, so I'm going home. Nice, okay. So that's the final one for- we, we won't do these yet. We'll, we'll wait till we get to like a... I don't know, a comfortable area. But there we go, that, that's all of Desuhiko's. Sweet. Okay. Princess Kaguya in the Bamboo Grove. This won't fit in the mail. <laughs> Treasure at the construction site and beyond the Red Bridge. So it does seem like we're in a brand new area, so... We might have a whole bunch of new things to look at. You know what? It's the final chapter. Let's get some flavor text. Uh, this way's blocked. I don't think I can get through. So? What are you gonna do? Force your way through? No, let's look for other options first. Oh, I just don't want to leave, guys. It's a, it's a scary place. Hmm. This door doesn't seem locked. But the knob's broken, so we can't get through. Hmm. Mm, guess you got no choice but to kick it down. If we've run out of places to go, that might be the only way. Uh, but for now, let's look someplace else. This is... It's a real mess past this point. I don't think we can get any further, no matter how hard we tried. Oh, no! We don't have to go there now, do we? Let's see what else we can find first. Yeah, you're right. Man, I know you've already been established as being afraid of spooky things for whatever reason, Shinigami, but... Isn't it weird that I'm calmer than you are? <laughs> so scary! Monsters might appear out of nowhere! Look, I can see the white dot over there, Shinigami. Shinigami. I know Aren't someone's you there. what most people are supposed to be afraid of? Who's there? Desuhiko, is that you? 
someone's there. Oh. No, what that's are um they doing. Are you a homunculus? If they live around here, they might know something. Wait, you're going to talk to them? I think that's a bad idea. Gonna turn around, they're gonna have no face. We're gonna we have scream. To find out where we are. It'll be fine. I think. You sure about that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I'd want to go up to a guy who's stanced up like that. I mean, that's how I stand. That that's how you know they're not okay. Uh. Master, whoa. is this really okay? Well, well I mean, they're gonna talk, so it should be okay, right? And they've got the exclamation mark over their head. It's I, I've got to do it. Um, excuse me. Uh, hello? There's that blood or mud on them. Well, this is. Oh! Okay! As it's a zombie. Okay, cool. Did that person try to bite you? Is that was that a zombie? I mean that that's what I just thought. A zombie? No way! What a sudden genre change! Like, it attacked us on sight! It didn't even try to talk! Master, we gotta get out of here! I I know! But we gotta find the crew first, Shinigami! We, we're, we're gonna live and die as a team! Master, hurry up and run! And I got some blue balls to find. Uh, I'm gonna assume I cannot go backwards. Why? Yeah. Anyway. Why are they attacking? And stop complaining and run! Go, go, go! Yes, yes, yes. I'll make sure I'll... Oh, those are people. Those are people there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dip real quick. Oh, that's another person there, too. Just, uh, you know, on the lookout for, for my blue balls. I, I, I know I am blind most of the time, so I'm, I'm really on the lookout here. You know, I mean, any of these areas could be a construction site, you know? Oh, well. Thankfully, this guy's caged off. Look at him. Ugh. Filthy zombie. Uh. I, think I see one in that building. Let's hide there for now. Yeah. I see the ball. I guess maybe we'll just do the. I, I feel like we're not gonna have a time to rest in this chapter, so I feel like we'll probably just get these when we get them all. Maybe, maybe have an episode dedicated to him. Who knows? Okay, seems like these last ones are going to be pretty hard for me to miss. There was definitely still. something wrong with those people. And it wasn't just one or two, but a whole mob. Complacency will get me. If they all attack at once, you'll be torn to shreds, Master! We need something to defend ourselves. Let's look for something we can use as weapons. Yeah, don't worry. I see that memory shard. I'll use that as a weapon. My friends are my power! All right, that won't fit in the... Oh, yeah, this is the post office, isn't it? <laughs> that won't fit in the mail. Hmm? An envelope? There's a letter inside. I bet this will be a good weapon. I'll give him some mean paper cuts. Evacuation order. Yesterday, toxic gas was discovered to be leaking from the nearby mines. I thought so, yeah. We're in the restricted area. This area has been purchased by Amaterasu Corporation and has been designated as off-limits. All residents are hereby requested to evacuate the area immediately. Well, if I know anything about people living in rural Japanese towns, especially in anime... Well, they were... They're, they're, they were fucked. They, they sure weren't leaving. Classic Shiki moment there. An evacuation order from Amaterasu Corp. 
Granted, they weren't they weren't zombies in Cheeky. They were vampires, but that's a spoiler. <laughs> I mean, not really, but you know. I see. I think I know where we are. Yuma, this is the restricted area. Wait, are we also gonna get fucked because we're in a gas area of poison? Well, that was a weird way to put that, Kurumi, but, uh, maybe. Supposedly, it was a tiny village that was abandoned due to a toxic gas leak from a nearby mine. Ever since then, the whole area has been restricted. So this is where you were talking about. Isn't this where the corpse processing facility is supposed to be? <laughs> this is becoming more of a horror story by the minute! Oh, yeah, that rumor. I need to confirm it with Kurumi. Yeah, so you ever heard of Blank Week? Kurumi, there's something I need to ask you. Hmm? What is it? Halara was investigating the restricted area and mentioned something. In Kanai Ward, corpses rot easily due to the humidity from the rain, so they are quick to retrieve bodies. Wait... You don't think Halara has already added to their list of accomplishments that they've punched out zombies, do you? I mean, I'd like to see it. The corpses are then loaded onto trucks and transported to the restricted area for disposal. Hello. But that process is managed by a department with a handful of people working directly for Amaterasu's CEO. On top of that, they are only involved in transportation. They aren't aware of what happens afterwards. How the bodies are buried and who buries them is a mystery. Really? So the rumors about it being a corpse processing facility were true? I mean, I'm kind of glad that my information was right, but I'm also really not glad that my information was right. I thought you'd know. No, I don't. Why a corpse processing facility? Maybe Amaterasu is secretly disposing bodies used for human experimentation. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. If that's the case, what if bodies coming back to life was an unexpected side effect of the experiment? I mean, sounds very homunculi. Would that mean they really are zombies? But that can't be. A corpse can't come back to life. Well, except for when Shinigami's puppeting it, I guess, but... I mean, Shinigami isn't like a name, it is just a general... Sp death spirit thing. Maybe this entire town is infested with Shinigamis. Yeah, that would be a... that would be a poison, alright. Oh, come on, Master! I thought we were bonding after last chapter! Come on! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aren't zombies supposed to be dead? They sure didn't smell like corpses to me. No, oh, so they're alive. That's better. Huh? But they didn't really seem alive either. What are they? I mean, I that. That seems pretty homunculi. If the story of the toxic gas from the mines is true, these could be the residents suffering from it. Anyway, we'll make some of that info a solution key just in case. Oh, wow, we're already doing this? Oh, man, okay, yeah, we are not gonna have time to rest, huh? Hello? Huh? Oh. Oh. oh! Oh, I saw those. Those are some uniforms right there. I saw that red. Dude, I was joking about this. I joked- I JOKED ABOUT THAT SHIT LAST TIME! Oh, I thought they all died. Uh, are you really zombies? Were all three of you turned into zombies? Uh, 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 uh. I think we're in the wrong genre! Zombies don't show up in mystery titles! I know, right? Oh, they could. <laughs> They are. Before you get eaten. No, 
looking a little worse for wear than when we last saw them too. Let's run. Yeah. But hey, at least this makes them move. <gasps> Funny feeling that was probably someone else. Well, they could. Hey, there's a letter on the arrow. <sighs> yeah, we don't really have time to be standing around Ooh. looking at this. Kurumi, let's hide. This way. But as I was gonna say, this at least justifies the the mooks being incompetent, unlike the peacekeepers. <laughs> well, I mean, not that they're gonna be following us, but you know. God damn it, like, as soon as- I, I know I joked about it last time, but as soon as I saw those fucking uniforms under the coat, I was like, Oh, fuck, they're actually gonna do this to me, aren't they? Bastards. A letter on an arrow. Talk about old-fashioned. What does it say? No, oh, I, I don't want to be faced with the chief anytime soon, but I feel like that's gonna happen at some point. Warning. Homunculi are predisposed to eating human flesh in order to maintain the artificial organic synthesis in their cells. On one hand, knew it! On the other hand, OH FUCK! That's not a homunculi! That is dead, that is a zombie! That is one, that is not... <laughs> oh, yeah, no, they actually want to eat us! That's, oh, okay. You're right, Shinigami, what a genre twist! But now, okay, we're getting arrows fired at us. I've suddenly had the, the sneaking suspicion that Makoto's just being a silly little guy, isn't he? He's just sending us here so he can s reveal all this shit. He, that, that's gonna end up being what happened, isn't it? Still, fuck you, Makoto. We could- we were passed out! We could've get- we could've got fucking eaten. Currently, there are no alternate sources of nutrition, and they grow sick if they do not consume human flesh. I guess that's what all the bodies are for though, right? And the kidnapping? Particularly malnourished specimens will attack any human on sight, so please do your best to be careful. Particularly malnourished, huh? I mean, th those three didn't die that long ago, so... <laughs> Ugh. Yikes. From the Amaterasu Homunculus Research Department. Homunculi? Attack humans? They eat human flesh. Wait, so those zombies roaming around here, those were homunculi? The immortal monsters Grandpa talked about? And again, they are just kind of out in the open, <laughs> weirdly enough. Then... Yoshiko and the others back there were just homunculi too? But they looked so real. What exactly are they? The horrifying is what they are, and I think we should leave. You know, as soon as we can find the rest of the crew. We at least know they're dangerous. We should get out of here, Master. Let's go, Kurumi. We need to leave this village right now. I don't even want to imagine what'll happen if they catch us. We gotta get out of here. Yeah, I'm, I'm wait. There's there's gonna be some quick time events. Oh, there sure will be. But guys, we kind of need to save our other four colleagues and friends. Well, not that they're Kurumi's colleagues, but you know. We can get out this way. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm a coming. I'm a coming. Where am I coming? Okay, that, that, that's the way we came, okay. So I, I need to keep my eye out, you know? Just in case, just in case one or two or three of these blue balls are a little harder to find. You know, a little tucked away, they're not just sitting out in, in the open. Like the last two. Doesn't help that there's little blue spirit balls in the air. Oh, oh, it's the priest. The one sitting over there, is that the priest from the mailman case? That one seems a bit calmer than the rest. Oh, nice. I'm glad that carried over. Maybe we can talk to him. You know, calm for a murderer. What? This is a bad idea. Yeah, I think we shouldn't do that, guys. Come on. Use those brains of yours. 
the brains that are about to get eaten out of your skulls. But don't mind me, just gonna look around a little bit, you know. I mean, this, is, this doesn't really seem like it would be where any of the balls are. You know, it's not really like a, a bamboo grove or anything, is it? <laughs> Can't even see the moon. I think it's up there. A little, little bit bright, but, you know, just hanging out. Doesn't really look like a, a red bridge either or a construction zone. Stop already! You'll just get attacked again if you try to talk. But I might learn something new or figure a way out of here. Curiosity killed the cat, my guy. Um, father? Oh yeah, he's looking Do cracked. You remember me? Not in a. I mean, like he's falling apart, kind of cracked. I was ready for it. Yeah, he doesn't look like he's doing so good. And that was one case of difference. Oh, Shachi, no! I mean, that's fucking terrifying. <laughs> that's a little less terrifying. <laughs> I mean, it was when he stood up like that, but it can't be just kind of dropping out Those of nowhere. People are supposed to be dead. Funny. What is a homunculus anyway? <sighs> are you the victim from the first case? Or are you just a generic? Oh, well, they caught up fast. The priest still doesn't look like he's doing so good, though. Oh, I very nearly pressed Y by mistake there. Nice hop there, Kurumi. Why are none of them going after her, though? They're all coming after me. Because I killed them all. <laughs> A fence? Does it surround the whole village? I mean, could we climb it? That's right. This... It is the restricted area. But I think we can climb over it. I'll go first, Kurumi. You follow after. Wait! The fence might be... Electric. Yeah. An electric fence? Well, thank God that one zombie just, like, bumped right into it. I knew something was odd. You would have been roasted if you touched it. <sighs> yeah. Just like Yaka all those times we fucked up last case, huh? <laughs> How are we going to get out of here now? I don't know, wait for some dudes to come in with some more corpses and sneak out that way? Let's search for an opening in the fence. Oh, Yuma, look! The sound must have drawn them here. Yeah, the same ones. Oh, although it looks like Kurune is leading them this time. Well, that, that's a bit different. Yo, Halara, you would you mind punching some people out, please? I... I don't know. Well, that's one way to escape. It's just instant death. I don't know. Where the fuck was that? <laughs> Just a cliff behind us the whole time? You passed out again? This is getting old! Wake up! I know, I do this all the time, man. <gasps> hey, Yuma. What's that? Uh... A very big building? Such an ominous building. I can hear something inside. It's so massive. 
just what is going on in there? Well, we're not gonna find any answers out here. Let's go in. You never know, Shinigami. I might find my answer. My answer being a blue ball! I thought so, this looked like a construction site. Sweet! Yo, you wanna get in the mm. water potty? It's one of those temporary toilets they always have at construction sites. Hmm? So does that mean some construction work was being carried out? It looks like a permanent fixture, though. Eh, it must belong to a toilet collector living nearby. I don't think so. Well, I mean, are you gonna doubt that there is such thing as a toilet collector? Like get in here. Oh, touche. Hmm. Oh, these lights are incredibly bright. I guess this place would be pitch black without them. No. But Yuma, they're switched on right now. Yeah, someone is watching over this area. You better tread carefully. So I noticed that we're getting these somewhat in order, right? But like, why did we get Desuhiko before Halora? Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter, but... I guess it's just because we're, we're bros. We're boys. Okay. I mean, there's no red bridge here, so... Shouldn't be too worried, but... Hello? Mario! God, I will say, what, what a way to start this fucking chapter, though. Wasn't, uh, I mean, I what? On one hand, I was ready for it, because I said it would happen last time. I didn't mean it, though. I didn't think this would really happen. Well, not like this, anyway. I mean, I had a feeling it, it would happen in, in some respect, right? I mean, you don't just bring up the dead bodies thing and and not have this mentioned. Well, not me mentioned. Have it mentioned and then not happen, but I didn't expect them to be fucking zombies! Looks like some kind of factory. It's dark and creepy, but it still seems to be functioning. But no one's supposed to be in the restricted area. What kind of factory is this anyway? <laughs> I smell blood. Oh no. <laughs> Let's hope it's just the blood leaking from their eyes, right? It's not our friends. Huh? Blood? Maybe there's something here that's related to the restricted area. This could be dangerous, but we should look inside. Right. We won't be safe no matter where we go anyway. Let's just hope Tetsuhiko, like, disguised them all as zombies, right? Right? Mm. This factory feels so creepy. If you spot any red or green herbs, be sure to pick it up. Oh, uh, yeah, I get that reference. Wait, no, I don't. I have amnesia. Hmm? Why is this machine operating? There's nobody here to run it. Say! I'm getting nothing but bad vibes here. Be careful, master. What are they building in this factory? It's just... I was gonna say, yeah, <laughs> probably just have the homunculi do it, right? They're over here too. If it's not just automated. The smell of blood could be coming from them. Maybe they ate someone. Maybe, but who? A conveyor belt. It looks like they're making something. What's on top of it? Looks like trays of eggs, but <laughs> uh, maybe they're like uh, balls of human skin. Let's go on a bit further and find out. Which is fucking disgusting. I'm not giving any thought to it. What's wrong? Oh, I just hope they're not eating my friends. Master. Nothing. It's just... I got a feeling we shouldn't go any further. Huh? Why? We might find out the secret of the restricted area. I just think we're gonna get... Fucked, man. I know, but... Well, how about you wait right here? I'll go and look. That is even worse! Hey, Kurumi! Master, don't tell me you're scared after coming this far. Scared? Well, of course I am. Have you seen this, Shinigami? You're fine. We're not. I just... know. The truth awaits us up ahead. In the guise of a monster. Will I... Really be able to face it? Let's just hope it's Yako, am I right? <laughs> you can always run away. No. 
I'll go. Yeah, we need to save our lady friend. Are you prepared to go with me? Don't need to ask twice. I'm always with you, Master. Well, that's vaguely reassuring. Kurumi! Please come back! Yeah, did you see that? Need some psychic Kurumi. hand waves on the door. I didn't even touch it. Yuma, look! I thought they'd be making something horrible. But it's just meat buns. They look nice and fresh. Ha! 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 Look, I knew there was gonna be something. Something about the meat buns was gonna be relevant, right? Because we mention them all the time. If you saw the way my face just dropped there. We've been eating human flesh meat buns this whole time. Yako, no! Oh, thank God we didn't get you any in chapter. One or two or... No, it was two, wasn't it? Did he send us out to get meat buns? Right, yeah, because that's when we were at the shack and then Kurumi met us. Oh, God. Oh, God. Huh? Meat buns? Oh, God. But why here in the restricted area? L l let's just hope they're full of uh, mind-controlling toxins instead of human meat. Welcome to the Kanai Ward Special Food Facility Tour. What the... Is this some sort of tour guide? This factory operates 24 hours a day to provide safe and secure food to the people of Kanai Ward. This is where they make the meat buns we always eat? All factory manufacturing is fully automatic, so there's no staff on hand. Yeah, makes sense. I, uh, that's kind of what I figured. So there aren't any workers around? Up ahead, we shall demonstrate how the specialty food is produced. I wonder if our presence here automatically triggered it to go off. Yeah, it's like a tour. As I'm it's not sure. It feels like it was talking to us. Yeah, I mean, Makoto could be like just flipping some switches to give us all that, that good, juicy, juicy like info. It trapped me. But we can't turn back now. I've made up my mind. Oh, you're acting more like a detective now. You must have one hell of a mentor. Literally, one room ago you were such a pussy, but now look at you, master! Cool. Yeah, whatever. Let's keep moving. Yeah. I'm not so scared as long as I'm with you. Oh well. Don't say that. In zombie films, or just media, that that's a pretty big red flag. Well, not a red flag. Like a, a, a death flag. Oh! The meat buns are made and processed really methodically. Right. It's totally normal for a factory, but there's still something creepy about it. Look at me! I'm the meat bun! Quit messing around. Let's go. <sighs> Why do you hate fun? I don't hate fun. I just don't... <laughs> I, don't I just don't, I don't want anything to do with this man. You know it's gonna be fucked. There's some stairs there. Little fun, interesting. What kind uh, of machine is this? Master, try messing with it. I mean, I, I was gonna look at it. It'd be really bad if I end up breaking it. There's also a lady Master, right there. You're such a wimp. I'm about to look at it. Shut up. This is. It looks like this machine monitors something in the factory. I have no idea what it says though. For now. Eh, no point in worrying over things you can't figure out. Forget about it and move on. Through. Right now, the most important thing is to keep moving forward. So, what was the. You were pressing me to look at this, and neither of us know what it is! How fashion me. Such a pain. It's called a special food facility, but they're just making. meat buns? Maybe they're using specially chosen meat. Like there's a flavor unique to this factory. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's somehow I don't think that's it. I don't know. Yeah, that was my idea, but I don't think so either. I don't know, man. There might be. It's just, you know. Yo, I'm a pal. What the fuck are you doing here? And who that is that they eat their eating? Oh, there's a lot of them here, too. They're coming to 
Uh, someone who was green. Note that there are no staff in this factory, but there are many hungry individuals wandering about. Okay, yeah, that's a very targeted uh, announcement. Please be mindful, as they are partial to fresh food. Fresh food? It's talking about us! See? I told you it was a trap! How are you gonna get out of this? We can't go to the mystery labyrinth without a case to solve! How do we get away from these zombies? I mean, use sound, presumably. I know! Sound! The zapping sound from the electric fence drew their attention. So some sort of loud sound may distract them. Alright, it's worth a shot! Hey, Master! Don't you think that Omapal over there might do the trick? I mean, maybe. What, what's he got on his head there? Fresh, steamy meat buns? Hello? Oh, it's a tablet. It's right. Hello. Oh, nice. I knew it. Playing music had to be relevant. The sound is distracting them. So you don't think that's like Desuhiko on the floor, do you? I hope not. Yuma, look. That spot where the zombies were gathered. What were they all flocking to? We should really go check it out. I mean, that, that is, that is someone who's fucking picked clean. Um, I see. Looks like this machine's blowing air into the conveyor section. I said. Well, this is a food factory, so maybe it's to keep the place sanitary. Uh. Maybe. Uh. Yeah, <laughs> there are bones everywhere. Didn't anyone teach them not to leave their scraps behind? I'm gonna hope this is a joke. This is some weird dream. These clothes belong to Tesuhiko. Huh? Tesuhiko? The shorty detective got eaten? Oh, it can't be. No, they, they, they wouldn't just kill off all my friends unceremoniously, surely. Not at this point. Please let it be a joke that I said earlier that the whole thing of this chapter will be like chapter zero. Please be mindful of sudden accidents while on the factory tour. If you are electrocuted, fall from a great height, or are mistaken as food and eaten, you will join your friend in front of you. So please practice caution. No, no, I don't, I don't, I refuse, I don't believe you. I don't believe you, game! Friend? Then those bones really are. I mean, that's some pretty hard copium I'm on. Like, where else are they gonna just, like, get a bunch of clothes? It just so happen to look like my pals, but... No way. I don't believe it. I refuse to. Me too, Yuma. They wouldn't just... I mean, I feel like they, they, they'd make it really horrific, right? They'd make me watch. They wouldn't just kill him off screen, surely. Yeah. Kurumi, didn't the announcement also say in front of you? Oh, that means... Someone's watching. We're Someone knows. Being watched? This could be planted. Who's there? Where are you? What do you want from us? Getting emotional, are we? As a detective, you should know better than that. Fuck Emotions you. must be discarded to reach a perfect solution through a perfect deduction. Yet again, fuck you. I, I don't want to hear that from you! Are you sure you wish to make so much noise? They'll start coming after you again. I know, I was about to say. Did you read the warning I presented to you prior to this? They only see you as food. If you wish to move on, you should proceed with caution. Now. Please enjoy the remainder of the tour. Warning? The letter on the arrow? The person behind that voice has been watching us the whole time. We didn't come to this building by accident. We were led here. Whoever is talking to us brought us here. But why? Master, look! Huh? This is Desuhiko's handwriting. Really? Are you sure? 
Yeah. The handwriting matches the note he wrote me when I did some shopping. I don't remember that. I'm sure he wrote it. Then this corpse really is. No, no, I can't. I no, I I, I can't believe that. I can't believe that. Especially because that definitely means they're gonna kill fucking everyone else. Kanai Ward's history. Kanai Ward was just another remote city in the country. Its development began once Amaterasu headquartered there. No, I already don't believe this. I, I, I don't believe he'd write this shit. Where'd he even learn this? I don't believe you. I don't believe you, game! Ten years ago, Amaterasu Corporation started their research on homunculi. You can't play me the fucking flute right now! Top secret research kept from society, which Amaterasu loves for sure. And their client is Yuji, who spent a ton of money to keep the research secure. Did he start rhyming? Is this a joke? It sounds like something he'd write, but the content itself is serious. Yeah. Hey, what does it say? If Desuhiko wrote us a note, I'm pretty sure it'd be full of little quips and jibs. It looks like Amaterasu's homunculus research was funded by the unified government. Huh? The UG paid Amaterasu Corp to research homunculi? That explains why they haven't interfered with Kanai Ward's isolation. I'm sure they wouldn't want anyone to know they requested such shady research. So Amaterasu had dirt on the UG, which is why they can't say anything. Well, if the unified government is involved, this is becoming a conspiracy on a global scale. When did Desuhiko find out about this? Yeah, that, that, that's also what's making me a little bit suspicious Seems here. Seems like there's more to it. Why don't you read the rest? The only thing known about homunculus research is that human beings are created from human cells. DNA is extracted from a human that will serve as a base, which is then used to cultivate human cells. So let's just hope this is like a Desuhiko homunculi, right? Right? I mean, that isn't how clothes work, but... Right? Surely. Unlike clones, they don't need to be grown from fetuses, and genetic data from the time of collection is replicated. It's an artificial human whose age, sex, and appearance have been perfectly copied. Human cells from DNA... copied... artificial humans? Master, did your brain melt from how complicated this is? No, uh, at the moment it's fairly simple, it's just... wow. Don't worry, I'll make it all a solution key. Thanks. Desuhiko must have left this report behind. But I don't believe he's dead. Yeah, it's also a little weird that he just, like, write this. And then just happened to die. It's not as if it's like... You know... Ezuka, oh my god, Yuma, I gotta tell you this quick. Specifically for me, because I seem to be the one finding all this stuff. I'm sure he's with everyone else... somewhere. Yeah, I agree. I'd rather trust in everyone than believe what that voice says. So let's go find them. Besides, you know, as I said, we are kind of like in a factory for make. Well, not. In, I don't think it's this factory, but we are in an area where they create humans, and they do have like complete and total access to us. So like, homunculifying us seems pretty easy. I mean, I could be a homunculus right now. You could be Kurumi. Maybe the real us are dead. We'll live on as homunculi. Definitely alive. We have to go find everyone right away. You know, I was kind of thinking this is like a red bridge, right? But yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm also kind of thinking maybe not. I mean, let, let me look around a little bit. I mean, there was an entire little uh, area we didn't go to, right? Desuhiko no. is definitely alive. Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> oh, then I'm so sure he's alive that maybe he really is dead. Oh. You never know with these things. Is that, is that gonna be holler? Is that, is that gonna be like the order we find people in? The order of the balls? I mean, it kinda looks like it could be. I'm seeing like the green. Yeah, and is that a. Is that the glasses there? Again. Look, I I'm gonna be really- see, that's where I don't believe it, right? Hollera spent this entire game absolutely punching the shit out of people with, like, guns. Yeah, I- okay, now- now I don't believe it. 
I'll notice if you get too loud. Let's stay quiet. And they just so happen to die in like the same place, but not together? Yeah, now I'm not really buying it. So I need, I need to say that in like my real voice, my serious voice. Y your boy's just not buying that. Sorry. Puzzles. They all were drawn <laughs> to the sound. Now that I got a look at them, they're kind of cute. No, they they aren't at all. How? Seems before there's something on the floor where that crowd was. Let's check it out before we move on. Man, yeah, come on, Hollera. I, I see you here. Oh, that wasn't actually your glasses. I think it's like your hand or something. Where are your glasses actually? Someone's clearly not. Like, they, you wouldn't eat them, surely. Those clothes... Alara? Oh, how tragic. Despite all my warnings, it seems another one of your friends was devoured. No matter how strong they think they are, they're powerless against overwhelming numbers. There was three of them. <laughs> I don't know if that's really overwhelming. No, that can't be! Please continue enjoying the rest of the tour. <sighs> Master, look at this. Is there another note? Because, yeah, that, that's extra suspicious. There's no mistake. This is Holara's handwriting. Regarding the two research facilities, the Unified Government has heavily invested in Amaterasu Corporation's homunculus research. However, it appears there was another research facility of the same scale, directly controlled by the UG. They had two research facilities compete with one another, in an attempt to further promote development. Okay. Naturally, the two facilities became rivals. Competition grew fierce. Soon, they were resorting to any means necessary. That sounds pretty ethical. Amaterasu yeah, Corporation began conducting human experiments, but this did not lead to results. Meanwhile, the Unified Government's research facility gathered DNA through extra-legal methods. Uh, yeah, that's very ethical sounding. They extracted uh... DNA from particularly superior specimens and used those samples as the core for cells. Alara also managed to dig up all this. Yeah, curiously left a note in amongst their corpse that is completely... Untouched by like blood and shit. Yeah, yeah. Weird. A rival facility to Amaterasu Corp. Things are getting even more mysterious now. Can you really solve this thing? Did you really have to give me the, the solution keys with like the torn clothes of my dead well, quote unquote dead friends? <laughs> Shinigami. Do you really have to do that? Could you not like look at the note for it? Is there something underneath the clothes? It's a key card. Have you grown tired of the tour yet? Because I sure have. Regardless, you deserve respect. You've lost your home, your friends, and I hear you've even lost your memories. What drives you to keep going to such lengths? Justice? Friendship? Or do you just go whichever way the wind blows? You know who I am? What do you want? I should be asking you the same. Why do you want to solve mysteries? B because... I've asked myself that many times, but still can't find the answer. I don't know why I continue to solve mysteries. But I was able to save people by revealing the truth! Exposing the truth doesn't always lead to salvation. Well, sure, but like... And? You should know that better than anyone. You've learned it full well. It's true, I know. I suffered each step of the way. But then I thought to myself, I don't want to see anyone suffer because the truth wasn't exposed! Well, I, I didn't think that, actually. I had to have Kurumi, like, keep on telling me that, but... Yeah! Yuma... 
That's why I decided, no matter what the truth may be, I will expose it! That is my wish for everyone who has fallen victim. What I'm praying for! Prayer is the loneliest activity one can partake in. Even if your friends prayed, none of you would reach another. I don't know about that. I mean, you can do group prayer, but... But please, carry on with your solitary struggle. I've also, like, got a... I mean, I've got two friends with me right now. Oh, master! Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, she's right there. I know you can see her. You can't see the other one. Shinigami is invisible, but, like, Kurumi's right here. Uh, uh, this guy's kind of a bozo, huh? I'm not alone. As long as our thoughts are one, we can fight together. So there's that there's that positive mental attitude. And he's got me too. There goes Flatty taking the spotlight again. He already has me, so he has nothing to worry about. I know I'm not alone. I was able to come this far thanks to everyone else. I'm sure the truth that we seek lies ahead. It may be something terrible, but it's the root of everything in Kanai Ward. We'll bring that truth to light. Let's keep moving. We'll bring the truth to light ourselves. Boy, a locked door. Got you. Actually, there is something that kind of caught my attention. And what's that? Why was that announcement so spiteful toward you, Master? Oh, they're real dick, huh? No, but I'm not gonna stop, no matter what they say. Whoa, Master, that was cool! I'm gonna haunt you till the very end. Uh, thanks. Uh, a huge turbine is spinning. It must be powering this whole section. Well, that's a lot of metal. Metal just to slap some meat buns together. Yeah, well, I mean, they are pretty uniform meat buns. There's someone in there. They seem a bit different from the others. We can keep going as long as we remain unseen. Let's leave it alone for now. Oh, I forgot to mention, but they each have individual differences. Really? Because I haven't really seen that so far. Perhaps there are even some you could speak with. Yeah, that's Was that a supposed trap. to be some sort of hint? Forget it. It's probably just another trick. But what if? Hey, Yuma! Yeah, what if, Yuma? Wait, what wait if? Here, Kurumi. Yeah, what, wait at the end. Looks like. Hey, I know you. I knew it. Zilch! Who's that? You remember the Amaterasu Express on our way to Kanai War? Oh! The first soul I reaped in the mystery labyrinth! Zilch, the master detective! It was actually a hitman disguised as Zilch. So this guy isn't gonna jump ya? Hmm, maybe he's not hungry. I... was hired by... Director... Yomi. I mean, yeah, that tracks. <laughs> Who else, huh? <laughs> he can talk! To... kill... anyone... approaching... Kanai. Ward. And you killed, what, five people I never really got the chance to meet? Fuck you, man. Fuck you. And fuck you, Yomi. What's he mumbling about? Well, uh... Yeah, why don't you tell us a little bit more, man? Um, do you remember me? <sighs> oh. Director Yomi. Uh, yeah, that's me. Hi. Sorry. <laughs> that's me. Oh god, that. That is. That it, that that was edging weirdly close to the Nagito voice. No, I'm Yuma. We met on the Amaterasu Express. I was looking for you, Director Yomi. Where, where were you? Man, another person who really wanted to just get down on their knees for Yomi, it seems. At the lab again. You must love that place. Huh. 
Yeah, I don't know about any more, but he certainly did love that place. He can't communicate. He thinks I'm Yomi. Well, then let's just pretend to be Yomi. Let's take a page out of Desuhiko's book. Let's just disguise time. Why don't you take advantage of that and get some info out of him? Oh, right. About Yomi. Um, tell me about Yomi. I mean, tell me everything you know about me. Director Yomi. You became director of the Peacekeepers about five years ago, I believe. Five. Things were good back then. Define good. That masked freak wasn't in Kanai Ward, yes. It was the ideal environment for my work. Okay, so yeah, it was shit. I, I see, I see. That was when I worked as one of your closest advisors. It certainly takes me back. Did he even answer anything? He's not making any sense. Well, I mean, it's not information we didn't already know, but let's keep playing along. Did for say now. something. We might get some information. Um, if you don't mind, can you tell me what it was like back then? Uh, back then, you used Dr. Weska to trade with outside military organizations. Okay, yeah, slightly more detail about what we, what we already know, okay. Amaterasu's growing success was all thanks to your endeavors. You were on top of the world. Which we kind of also know, right? He was poised to become CEO, and then Makoto stepped in. If anyone dared raise accusations about you, they were shot on sight. Nice, okay. So Yomi didn't become corrupt, he, he just was. Okay, good to know. Many hypocrites acting as if they were upstanding citizens were shot on sight. Oh, good, good, uh, good. Good at, yeah, deserved, totally, yeah. In fact, most of them died by my hands. Oh, yeah, he practiced then, huh? Yeah, yeah. Too bad, uh, you, you messed with the wrong detective. Ha, 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 ha. Funny, don't you think? Didn't Chief Yako's wife get killed for blowing the whistle on the lab's secret dealings? Yeah, yeah. So that's what was going on. Okay. Um, do you know anything about this restricted area? Restricted area? Oh. You mean the location of Dr. Wesco's lab? Uh, maybe. I mean, we know he did some unethical human experimentation. Maybe this was where he did that? No. Dr. Wesco's lab is located underneath Amaterasu Corp. Yes. Dr. Wesco's lab. The new lab was made within hmm. the restricted area. Huh? I heard that Dr. Wesco tried to rush the homunculus research in order to beat the rival lab. Kind of tracks with what we've heard. So they you know, built previously. a lab about three years ago and started an experiment. I think it was called Project Homunculus. Clearly, Huesco was not great with naming conventions, but hey, that's okay, me either. Was the experiment a success? Or did it fail? Uh, kind of looks like it failed to me, but. I guess it doesn't matter. Master, you hear that? Project Homunculus sounds important! So Dr. Weska's lab was around here somewhere three years ago. Could this be about the secret research? Well, if he doesn't know if it succeeded or failed, then there's not much more we can ask him. Uh, oh, damn. Damn what, dude? Kanai Ward changed. Thanks to that masked freak. It's all his 
fault. Hmm? He started talking again. That bastard appeared. Uh, when was it? Yeah. Immediately after Project Homunculus, there was that event. That event, okay. Okay. Called. What was, what was that? The Black Week Mystery. Okay, great. Good to hear. We still haven't brought that up to Kurumi, so. The good Black to hear. Week Mystery? The Black Week Mystery. Unfortunately, all I know is its name. And that it's taboo to mention it in Kanai Ward. You know about that case? What happened? Damn. Kanai Ward changed. Thanks to that masked freak. It's all his fault. Ah, we broke him. We're gonna have to move on. That bastard appeared. Uh, when was it? He's going in circles! Oh, so irritating. Let's just leave him be. Oh, yeah. Around the time of the blank week mystery. Right after that, the masked freak appeared out of nowhere. And he became CEO of Amaterasu in the blink of an eye. It's so irritating. <laughs> right, Director Yomi? Yeah, we sort of really know why. So we know uh, Makoto came in from the outside. So was, he, was he someone sent in by, like, the unified government, maybe? That freak ordered the homunculus research to be shut down. Who does he think he is. Yeah, I mean, the more and more we're talking here, the more and more I am getting the feeling that Makoto shipped us off here so we could figure all this out, huh? What? Makoto shut it down? Tell me more, Zilch! <laughs> I've run out of things to say. <sighs> Director Yomi, I was looking for you. <sighs> Director Yomi, where were you? At the lab again. Oh, you must love that place. He's stuck on repeat. Guess he's glitching out. Yeah, God damn it. Zilch! Zilch! Uh, need to fix up this capture card, you know what I'm saying? Director Yomi, you became director of the Peacekeepers about five years ago, I believe. Things were good back then. It's no use. He's like a broken record. Well, based on what he said, Dr. Weska's lab was apparently somewhere near here three years ago. And something called Project Homunculus was carried out there. And then after that, the so-called Blank Week Mystery occurred. But the real question is what the Blank Week Mystery even is. I haven't asked Kurumi about it yet. It's supposedly taboo in Kanai Ward, but she may know. And she's just been standing over there this whole time. The Flatty will probably tell you. Try asking. Yeah, we're gonna turn around. She's not there, aren't we? Yeah, it's all that coming. Kurumi? Huh? Kurumi? Kurumi's gone? Where'd she go? Hey, keep it down, will ya? They'll come for you again. Yeah, I have a funny feeling we're gonna like bump into her corpse in a minute. You know. Don't tell me. Here's what it is. They got her. Uh, very silently too. If they had. She'd at least scream. But I didn't hear anything. She probably wandered off somewhere. I wish she'd stop dragging us down. I don't think she turned back without good reason. Maybe she really did go on ahead. I'd better hurry and catch up. 
I, I don't think we'll be catching up. I feel like we're going to be running in circles. We have to find her. Hey, is that? I mean, I can't really tell from here if that's her or Fubuki's coat. Ah, we're too late. I bet flat meat doesn't taste very good. I have to do something. Yeah, I just have a funny feeling it's not real now, you know, like extra, like, oh. Thank God, you know, I was worried for like a, oh, that, that, that's Zilch. <laughs> I was worried for like five minutes there. Ugh. It's like, if she's in the same state, then it's like, eh, nah. I feel like that wouldn't have happened so fast if we are also running with like the whole, I don't know, the thing about, uh, these clothes belong to Vivia. Ah, uh, yeah, I was There's gonna say, no I didn't really think it was us. Did the anemic vampire get whacked too? Well, he was out there to begin with. How awful. It's like the purple badge Another thingy. one of your that friends has been devoured. D -d -d Stop saying that! Master, never mind that! Look! It's a report. This is definitely Vivia's handwriting. Regarding homunculus characteristics, homunculi do not die. Rather, even if they die, they come back to life. Oh. The unified government sought out and began research for military applications of homunculi. Their desire was to create an immortal army. Homunculi look identical to humans. You cannot tell them apart from one another in everyday life. They can become injured and ill. Some are handicapped, some are blind. But once they die, everything is repaired upon revival. Well, yeah, upon revival, how, how does that work? How's the revival work? Death though? acts as the switch for rebuilding their cells. It only takes one day. Okay, so they do still die, right? So it does still leave the option open for, like, these being homunculi. I they see. are immortal and even have eternal youth. Their cells may grow, but they never deteriorate. They stop aging once their bodies stop growing. Those who have already stopped growing maintain that state. Sounds like hell on earth, but okay. There are many unknowns regarding homunculus memory, but they seem to inherit those of their originals. Well, at the very least, I mean, I guess if you've got immortality, also like eternal youth and being able to maintain that, that, that that's a pretty good immortality deal. I mean, it still sucks, but because it's immortality, but eh, you know. The memories at the time of DNA extraction are carried over, and completely reconstructed in the brain's memory field. It keeps the original's memories? None of them seem to have their memories, though. Well, Zulch did remember the past. Maybe that's the individual differences that was mentioned. But if he's a homunculi... I mean, he's been around for a long time. I guess that, that does make sense that he's... A, a, a homunculi, not a zombie, which, yeah, that, like, logically tracks, but, like... How old is that homunculi? Do they only, like... Do they use the DNA of people who end up dead here to make homunculi? Or is it just that they collect the, the DNA, like, beforehand, because... I don't know, it's fucking Carnival Ward, and that shit's weird as fuck, and they just, they just know. They, they know- they know you weren't wearing gloves when you touched that fucking... Uh, piece of paper that you threw in the bin. So some peacekeeper just waddles along, yoinks it out of the trash, sends it off to the lab, BOOM! New clone. Or new homunculi. Anyway, there's more to the report. What does it say? There's only one way to tell a homunculus and a human apart. Mm. Blood. Homunculi have special characteristics to their blood. It makes them pink. Whoa, you mean pink blood wasn't normal all this time? Their bloods 
characteristics. That's the only way to tell them apart. Okay, interesting. Uh, we might want to um, grab a blood sample from one of these. I don't know where we'd store it, huh? but... Wait, is that Vivia back there? Stance up like that? Hey, wait! Oh no, that's a... That looks more like a zombie. Than Vivia. I mean, they are stanced up like Vivia, don't get me wrong, but... Yeah, I can't no. go through here yet. Figure is that? Yeah, I was gonna say, it does look like it, but it also kind of looks zombie-ish. Yeah, it could be it either or. It might be a trap! I don't know why, sure. but I think it's calling to me. Called? By that thing? <laughs> yeah, it's waddling around like a little weirdo. Like my favorite little weirdo guys. God, you know what I mean? With all this plot happening, I'm just thinking about if I missed any blue balls, you know? As I said, I feel like that it's red gone. bridge could have been Where back there. Go? Well, then again, this is very, uh, bridge-esque. This is... Cargo delivered to the factory is piled up. But... Everything's covered in dust, so it must have been placed here some time ago. Great. Even in the rain, so dusty yeah. shit. Is that... Who is it? A friend of yours, Master? Maybe. So, we gotta track him down, huh? It was pretty terrifying, I'm not gonna lie. A bit. Not here. Where did you go? I mean... Maybe this way? Could be a bridge. I don't see any blue walls, though. Pretty dark, all things considered, though. Maybe that's one over there. Any green herbs around? I don't know, man. Hmm. If the lights are on, the rest of this place must have been work must have a working electricity huh? too. It doesn't seem like anyone lives here, so why is the power still on? I mean, someone else is obviously here because they're like guiding us or whatever. Being real assholes about it too. Oh no. Just the fluorescent lights that trick me every single time. Now this doesn't look so ominous whatsoever. Destroyed that giant shutter. It looked pretty sturdy. It would take a huge amount of force to make it look like this. <laughs> Yo, do you think we're gonna see one of those like human hydro type deals? You know, when the it, it's like just a massive ball of skin. Uh, that'd be fucking terrifying. And I feel like somehow even worse in this art style. Oh, there we go. Hello? Anyone home? Fingers crossed they're on. music stairs looks like they lead underground you're still going master yeah I have a feeling I need to talk to that person who else do we know with a big slouch okay I can't go back there yet I wonder what's up ahead master you could be falling for a trap you know could be, but when have a 2D side scroller ever led to a to trap? Go. There's no other evidence around. Good point. Whether a zombie or death god pops out comes down to your luck, master. We have kind of just abandoned Kurumi, though. She definitely didn't come this way. So, um, I hope she's alright. This corridor goes on forever. How much longer till we reach the end? I don't know. And I wonder what lies ahead. It's Huesca. That's who it was. Don't mind me. No, oh, never mind. D Dr. Huesca? What are you doing here? That's a guy with a big slouch. Hey, it's you. Good. You. Hey, 
It's you. Y y you. He can talk, but he's also bugging out. Dr. Weska, please, tell me about the homunculi. You were researching homunculi, weren't you? H homunculi? H how do you know about the biggest stain on my life? Nah, it's as plain as the stains on your clothes, dude. So just talk. Oh, he spoke normally. He's probably reacting to the word homunculi. He doesn't seem to have completely lost his memories. Doctor, what happened to the homunculus research? Such a terrible memory. I'm ashamed to say my homunculus research with Amaterasu Corporation fell behind. Rumor had it the UG's research facility was on the doorstep of a successful experiment. So in order to catch up, the homunculus test site up ahead was constructed. There's a homunculus test site up ahead? Is that the real secret lab? What exactly are you t testing for it to be a test site? I was getting impatient. I used every method imaginable to complete the research first. Do you dare criticize my methods? It, no! I thought so. Sacrifices are necessary during experimentation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, very, very ethical. Very ethical. Uh, I needed our experiment. To complete a homunculus first. To silence that pesky unified government. To conduct the experiment in utmost secrecy, I purchased the entire surrounding village. You did that, personally? And made it a restricted area. And so, three years ago, the fateful Project Homunculus began. What happened in that experiment? Well, of course. Uh, hmm? You. What happened to my experiment? It's been a week since it began. Tell me now. What happened during the blank week? What? Tell me. T t tell. 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 T t tell. T t t Ugh, he keeps breaking down at the worst time. Maybe he just needs a good smack. I don't know. Maybe that is a good um implication. Is it? And I, I said something like this about it jokingly last episode, right? Maybe Blank Week is like literally a week that has been scrubbed from the records, but maybe even a scrub from memory too? Or maybe that's just how like the homunculi are programmed. I mean, we keep on using techie terms to describe them, Shinigami, so. The Blank Week was mentioned again. Maybe it has something to do with the experiments that took place here. Mm. Whatever it is, we should keep moving. The homunculus testing site is up ahead. Right. Let's see it for ourselves. First, let's summarize all we've learned about the homunculi. Sure, I'm all ears. Ten years ago, the unified government requested that Amaterasu Corporation conduct homunculus research. Three years ago, to compete with the UG's research facility, they built the homunculus testing site. That's where Project Homunculus took place, but we don't know exactly what that entails. And right after the experiment, the Blank Week mystery occurred. The masked guy, Makoto Kagatsuchi, appeared at Kanai Ward right after that too. 
he somehow got ahead of Peacekeeper Director Yomi and became CEO of Amaterasu. I mean, that, that really smacks of some, some shit that was so bad went down that the unified government was like, okay, no, 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 no. Amaterasu, you need to stop. We're going to have to send someone in. It smacks of that. He halted the homunculus research, and as a result, the homunculi became an urban legend in Kanai Ward. And now, three years later? You and I descended on this ruined, depressed land of Kanai Ward. Correct. Was Huesca just like up here? Maybe. No, it has a big, big set of stairs. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Well, anyway, I think I'm actually going to call things here. Uh, it gave us a little summary of the things we've learned so far. I also think what we're going to end up doing is with the with the gabs, I think. And I hope you don't mind, but this is what I want to do. When we go into the mystery labyrinth, um, the episode before that starts will be a dedicated gumshoe gabs episode hope you don't mind uh, but that, that that's what it'll be i think just just to get these last ones plus if i miss any it will give me time to you know go back and replay this bit so i can find them but yeah uh, i will say um i'm not only not talking because i'm i'm paying attention to it all i i, I mean I kind of thought this is how this would go. This is very Danganronpa, but also just very, um, I don't know, the, I, I'm going to say, I'm going to call it the trappings of, but maybe trope is, is more accurate to say. You know, they're in a, in the final arc of, well, not even an arc, but in the final little chapter of a game like this, they, they kind of just have the exposition dump, and like that's, like, you, you just have to do it. Th like, this is how you get all the information, right? Uh, Somnium Files does it. Danganronpa did it with all their chapter sixes. I vaguely recall, uh, 999 being like this as well. Very, very occasionally, Ace Attorney does this. Uh, it kind of depends on whether it's a game with an overarching plot or not. So you get like, um... Mainly with the, the Apollo Justice trilogy, right? Like, Apollo Justice, Case 4, very much like this. Case 5, a little... Uh, not Case 5, Dual Destinies Case 5, I'd say less so. That feel that one feels more in line with like uh, trials and tribulations, right? Well, there is like an overarching plot, but it's simultaneously quite self-contained to like two chapters. And then Spirit of Justice, um, yeah, Spirit of Justice kind of falls in that camp as well, but it, it, it's then also like a halfway between like the the Apollo Justice finale style with. Um, With, uh, ba -ba 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 Trials and Tribulations, Dual Destiny style. There we go. I can't believe I forgot those. I was literally, I literally just said them. Um, I will say, best game for this sort of stuff, like the, 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 the I guess like the end game, uh, absolutely without question is, um, Great Ace Attorney 2. That final case, that does all of this so well, because there's almost... There's almost no exposition. It doesn't feel like an exposition chapter. And it, it isn't. Because, granted, that game's a bit different because the running plot is through, like, it's over two games and there are a fair few chapters that are dedicated to it. There aren't really that many filler ones in that game. Or in those games. And it all crescendos. It all comes together. And you don't really need to have exposition because most of the rest of the games have been about the main plot. Um, Somnium Files 1, in theory, shouldn't be like that, but it is. Like, it has that final bit in one of those final moments that is just an exposition dump. Um, and it's like, it's a really cool one, right? And it's the same here, right? It's a really good way to use this, right? 
good way to use the setting. It's a shocking start. Uh, and actually using the homunculi to give us the information, I, th I think, is, is interesting. But ultimately, it is also us just walking around and picking up uh, exposition. It's kind of why, like... I, I, I'm super not buying the fact that all of our friends are dead, right? Because they, they've just left blocks of exposition for us. And it is exposition. There's like no there's no personality to them either. Even Like, they, they tried to say that Desuhiko's had a little bit, but there's no personality to any of them. It's just, it's just there. So, I mean, if they are dead, wow, what a mishandling of that. <laughs> but, um, it's also why I, I, I don't. Uh, buy it at all. Um, and I don't think I'm supposed to, but... You know, again, if they are, if, if on the off chance they are actually all dead... Um, yeah, wow, they really... Ooh, they, they fumbled the bag there. <laughs> like that, it's not shocking at all. Um, which immediately falls through with like, then why kill everyone? I mean... You know? What's the point there? Just kill, like, one person? And, ha like, ha have that be the whole thing? Then then you can have it be shocking, uh, but also have, like, the weight to it. Here it's just, like... But whatever, I think that, that's a hypothetical. I don't think that's what's happening. So that, that that's whatever. But it is still, you know, we're just walking to people in a somewhat cool setting with a somewhat cool idea, uh, and they're just feeding us exposition about information that realistically... The game should have been feeding us more of throughout the whole thing, since it wants to have a bit of an overarching plot. This is very much... This was very much the problem with the, the Danganronpa 2 finale, right? Where it just ends up being... Uh, dump, 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 dump of, of just information, right? And, like, none of it was really relevant because the main plot basically didn't exist in Danganronpa 2. Like, like, you got one thing every chapter, and that was it, right? And sure, you could say the same for Danganronpa 1, but Danganronpa 1 handled it a lot better, right? Dangan 2 uh, did not at all. Uh, it's absolutely one of the biggest failings of the game. Um, and, I mean, hey... It's also, it's also a pretty good uh, indication of what people remember from Chapter 6 in Dangan 2. I can guarantee the only thing you remember from it, and spoilers I guess if you haven't <laughs> played Dangan 2, the only thing you remember from it are, or is, the Ultimate Despair's reveal and Izaru. That happens at the beginning of the trial and the end of the trial. There's like a three hour gap in your memory of just absolutely boring exposition with like nothing important there except for like the overarching plot of Danganronpa which two and three just kind of throw off the deep end of like wow I mean this this is ridiculous you know Dangan one was ridiculous but you never saw it you never like really felt the consequences and the point at the ending was like what personal interpretation was it all a lie was it real? Was it a mixture of both? Leaves it up to the imagination, which is obviously what, you know, V3 then tries to do as well. Again, arguably to whatever effect, I think it's great, but obviously it's quite contentious whether it does or not. But then, like, you know, Dungan 2 and 3, off the deep end, they go weird with it, and not in a fun weird, like, do Junko should not be in 2, right? She just shouldn't be there. She shouldn't be in... Well, she should be in 3 and, like, the prequel stuff, but... She's still, like, weirdly relevant in in the end, which, I like, it kind of makes sense. It's it's fine. But, like, at the same time, it's like, yeah. I wish she wasn't there. <laughs> um, but, yeah, no, the, the, this game very much feels like Dungan 2 style of just, like, yep, we're gonna, we're gonna go through this kind of cool setting. And we're just gonna get information... Granted, this game's gameplay style, I think, will lend itself to a lot better of a, or more engaging of a finale than Danganronpa finales, which are generally, like, the weakest bits of the games, right? Aside, aside from V3s, and obviously Ultra Despair Girls, because obviously it uses a different style, obviously it all comes together so fucking well in Ultra Despair Girls, but, um, yeah, like, Dangan 1 
it's mostly pretty good. Like, the final investigation fucking slaps. Then there's, like, like most of the trial's fine, but... Yeah, yeah. And then 2's is a fucking disaster. And then V3's is, depending on you or who you ask, a disaster. But considering how fucking long it is, the fact that I can remember basically every plot beat... I mean, that that's great. That's great. That that That's a good thing. But, yeah, it's whatever. It's whatever. Let's stop talking about Danganronpa. The, and the hypotheticals that I... I mean, well, obviously I can see what some of this is. Obviously this has all basically been just an exposition dump, but still... Anyway, hope you enjoyed that 10 minutes at the end of the episode. Ha ha, yeah! You thought you wouldn't get one, huh? Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah! Punked! Anyway, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Um, I don't know how far we're gonna get. I don't know much, how much more of this there's gonna be. Um, I don't know, we'll probably find some Fubuki bones. Maybe, maybe some, uh... Somebody once told me some Kurumi bones. There we go. Um... Yeah, some more weird, wacky shit. Maybe I'll fail some uh, quick time events. Hopefully, we'll find the last two balls. And, uh, yeah. I'll see you then, hopefully. But until then, goodbye.